Andrew is cutting out an 11 inch circle so that we have kind of a template for what we're about to do. So Andrew's car is about to get serious. He went in and looked at the diameter of a 25 pound weight, or average diameter anyway, and that's what we're doing right now is cutting out uh, that template, which is about 11 inches or so. What we're gonna do is put these brackets up here in a second, and we wanna make sure that that's not gonna hit anywhere in here. Here are the brackets. Just weld up on your axle. We got that and subframe connectors that need to go on Andrew's car today. So it shouldn't take long to do, just a little bit of welding. So we'll have this knocked out in no time. I'll show you what this looks like here in just a second. Everything about right there? Yeah, you're gonna have just a little bit of tilt back. Yeah, just to keep it off that exhaust. Yeah. It's gonna Shift have to it. come in yeah. right here. Otherwise, when I try, I won't be able to pull, never pull without pulling the bolt out. So let me take a moment, interrupt this video for you guys. I promise it won't take long. But once again, LMR has knocked it out of the park with another product that we all needed in the Fox Body community. As far as I know, nobody else was manufacturing a center console for an Aero Fox. Look at that. It even comes with the radio bracket, We've got our hardware, and some decals. I think they only come in black, and you can either dye it gray, uh, then red, or whatever color you need to. Check it out. If you guys know, the two uh, bolts that go in here typically break off, and it looks like they have those in there. Here, it gives you some good instructions on how to install everything. I wanna thank LMR for sending this over. Let me check it out. I think we're gonna use it in the poop coop or either in Papa T's car. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna use this one. I'm not gonna give it away. A lot of times I like to give stuff away when I can, but we've got a build that we're doing. So this absolutely would fit the bill. So if you guys would be interested in one of these, go over it, check LMR out. I'll put links down in the description for you guys. It's so awesome that we got companies like LMR out here pushing the boundaries, always innovating, coming up with new stuff. So I really do appreciate them. I know you guys do as well. That's why we use LMR. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. So now it's on to the subframe connectors. We got everything marked up in the place, ground down, ready for the welds. Andrew's cleaned all this up on the car. And we've cleaned up the subframe. Now I put the line up with the front. It really needs to go back a little bit. Yeah. First start up. First start up. To me. First part up, part two. I'm gonna have a part three. Damn. Why what? Go back far enough. I went what? to your mark, but this is slant. Uh, oh, hey, we can go to the inside of that. Yeah. That will be all right. We ain't got no attack. See, the floorboard is really the only thing moving. And as a matter of fact, your floorboard is cut right there, so I guarantee you that's what happened. Yeah. Something got dropped in it or whatever. So anyway, I feel good with that. It's up tight. We're gonna go ahead and send her home. All right, we're gonna let Andrew weld up his subframes. He's done really good, y'all. Over here on this one spot, look at that. He had his one spot. No, nah, he. He did really good on that, so uh, we were just letting him go ahead and weld this up. Nothing like doing it yourself, right?
Andrew, you did a fine job. Yep, looks good. So, as you can see, we ran out of black paint, so Andrew's going in like, it actually matches the bottom of the car. Yeah, actually. So, it's not too bad. So, we got everything welded up, and it looks nice. I'm very, very happy with this. Oh, I need to spray this back here, too. With your beautiful gray. Yeah. Pretty bad. It is. It's limited edition. <laughs> so, I forgot to mention these subframe connectors came from LMR, so I'll put a link up for you guys if you're interested in these subframes. And they're full length, so the way these work is they, they weld in down here, and then you just have this one seat bracket that you bolt up and then weld to your subframe. It's actually a very, very simple setup. I really like it. If you guys are interested in any of these subframe connectors, look down below. I'll have a link in the description for you guys. But we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on the ground, make sure that the doors open and shut like they're supposed to. And um, we did check that also, by the way. Uh, let's cover that. Cause I know everybody's gonna ask, well, you know, you're supposed to have this car like, you know, on the ground or, you know, loaded up. So we did load the car. We loaded it right here. So it's not the suspension, but it should be good enough. And then we loaded the back uh, suspension on the car. So I feel like that's good enough. That's the way we did the gray car and it turned out just fine. So are you serious? No difference or nothing, just... Yeah. Not really. It's yeah. different. I mean, you can tell going in and out of the parking lot. And all this Did you go through the parking lot? Yeah, I that's, went up there and turned around. Right yeah, there. that's how I could tell on mine whenever I went through the parking lot. I really just wanted to see if it was going to pop and crack and stuff when I went across it. Yeah, yeah. Good right. deal. So Andrew's going to get some weights for the rear end of the car. Uh, what would you say, 25 on each side probably? Yeah, something like that. Start out there, see what happens. But uh, cars come a long way. You know, we've been working on this a lot lately because well, Andrew's got the parts and he's ready to do it. Um, we still got all the other cars that we will be working on. We've not forgotten about the 65. It's just in a spot right now to where we got to do interior work. And honestly, none of us want to be out here in 100 degree heat doing interior work. But the poop coupe, as you can see over here, it's, uh, <laughs> it's got that 70s rake on it. Get a hot rod squat. Now, we're waiting on our transmission. We did get our dash in. It's looking pretty good. And we're going to keep this car simple. We'll probably do some Scott Rod door panels, maybe throw some carpet in it, and more than likely a race seat, and that's it. So probably something cheap off of eBay, to be honest with you. We'll see what we see what we do here with this. Uh, we do have a bunch of parts coming in, thanks to everyone who has sent parts and helped us out on the poop coop, because it has been a big help. Uh, we've got struts coming for this thing, some strange 10 ways. i got to go see my buddy Edgar. He's going to hook us up with some parts, Wisnat Mustangs, you guys, everybody, thank you so much. And I have not forgotten, we will be putting everybody's name on the deck lid. I don't know that we're going to be able to keep this particular deck lid, which is why I've not put any names or done anything yet. So you can see this old bunghole right here don't look too healthy. We're missing everything on the inside of it. So, so when we get our new deck lid, we'll start putting names on. And we're going to paint this car here very, very soon. I would say within the next month, month and a half, we're gonna paint this thing and I'll show you what it's gonna look like. I think it's gonna be pretty nasty. And yes, we will get it leveled out. All right, y'all. Wrap this one up. And as always, thanks for watching.